Hi, my name is from Loom Love. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Rainbow Loom Railroad bracelet. We originally saw this design on Aiden Piggott's YouTube channel. Your loom should be set up exactly like this with your arrow pointing forwards. The first thing you're going to do is take your first rubber band and go from this pin to the pin on the left. and go up from here where we stopped and go all the way down the loom and stop at the second last peg. Okay, so stop here, push all your bands down, and now we take our rubber bands, one of our rubber bands, and bring from where we stopped to the middle last peg. Now we're going to continue the exactly the same thing on the other side. So go from this middle, the first middle pin to the right and continue from here to here and all the way up until we reach the second last peg. Make sure you push your bands down. Okay, now stop here, push all your bands down. And we take one band and go from where we stopped into the middle last peg in the middle row. Now we're going to continue in the middle. So we take another color, any color you want, and go. We're doing the cross bands now in the middle. You're not going to do it from here to here because then there will be bands sticking out everywhere at the beginning. So you're going to skip that one and go from this peg to this peg. So forwards from this peg up one, forwards, and place it from here to here. Now you're going to do the next row. So go from here to here. Make sure you push them down. This is a quick and e very easy bracelet. So now go from here to here and continue this all the way until we reach these two pegs. Okay, so we're going to stop here and we're not going to place a band there, just like we did for the beginning. So push all your bands down, so it looks like this. Now we're going to add a capping band. So what you're going to do is take one rubber band, twist it into a figure eight and put it back over itself and place it on this last middle peg, right here. And now we're going to turn our loom around and start hooking the bands. So turn your loom around so that now the arrow is pointing towards you, towards you. And you're going to pull back the capping band that we just placed right here and grab the band on the top that goes to the left. Pull back the capping band and grab the one that goes to the right. Now you can see it looks like a little V. Now we're going to pull back the left band and grab the one that goes forwards. 
pull back this band here and grab the one under that goes forwards. We're going to continue this all the way down the loop. And you stop right at the last peg, the, right at the last peg on the left side. Okay, so we're going to stop here, push all our bands down, and now we're going to grab this band, so pull back these, and grab the band that goes to the last middle, middle peg. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing on this, on the right side, so pull back these bands and grab the one that goes forwards, pull back this band here, grab the one that goes forwards. We're going to continue this pattern all the way down the loop. And if this happens, if this just slips off, you just grab your hook and divide it in the middle. And now we're going to stop right here at the end. Push your bands down. And now pull back these and grab the one that goes to the last middle peg in the middle row. Now, we are almost ready to take this off the loom. So what we do is, if it's easier for you, you can turn your loom around. But I like to turn my loom around. So you can turn your loom around or not, it doesn't really matter. But, so if the air is pointing forwards, this, this peg here, the first peg in the middle, we're going to pull back those bands and slide our hook down and take an, a single rubber band, hook, put it on the hook, and slide it up through. Now bring it up to the thickest part of your hook. Make sure it's on good and tight. Now we're ready to pull this off the loom. You can always use two, two looms for this bracelet, but it doesn't really matter to me. And you can always add the extension if you just use one. So I'm going to be adding the extension on this one because as you can see, it's not long enough for a adult or a kid's wrist. So now we're going to be making the extension. Keep that on the hook and you can use any colors you want. You make sure your air is pointing forwards for this. And you Put one band on here and go as many as you need for your extension. I do about five or six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to use six for this because it is smaller than usual bracelets, like the Starburst is quite small. So now, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six bands for my extension. And now we're going to take this off the hook. Make sure you're holding on to it or else it will wreck. And you can put it on one, one peg or on two. I prefer putting it on two. So put it on these pegs. Now we're going to turn the loom around so that the air is pointing forwards. And grab this band that goes forwards. Pull back these, grab the one that goes forwards. And we're going to continue this until we reach the end. Okay, now we're going to take this part, stretch it on to the middle peg, push them down, take our C-clip, just bunch this up here, and attach it to this. Now we're ready to pull this off the loop.
gonna stretch these bands out a little bit. Just like that. Just give them a little stretch. Now we can attach the C-clip to the other end. So take the C-clip, find this capping band here, mine's gold. I'm gonna stretch it out. This is a very stiff band. And we're gonna attach it onto the C-clip and just stretch it out a little bit, just like that. There you have your Rainbow and Railroad bracelet. Thanks for watching, bye.